Hey kids, it's Mrs. Murphy. It's time for reading. Today, we're going to read a new book. We're going to read Why Living Things Need Homes. Before we read, let's think. I wonder if this book is an informational text or a fiction text. Hmm. I think it's going to be informational because I see a real picture and the title seems like it's going to teach us something. Well, we'll have to read to find out. Now remember, whenever we read, we need to be thinking about why the author wrote it, what their purpose for writing the book is. Remember, an author usually writes to either help you have fun, that's when you're enjoying a story, a play, or poem, or they give you the purpose to learn something. That's when you get new information on a topic or how to do something. So considering this is probably an informational text, that means the purpose is for us to learn something. And what we're gonna learn is right there in the title. In this story, you should be learning why living things need homes. Let's read so we can learn. What is a home? A home is a place where something lives. There are different kinds of homes. Living things and homes. People and other animals are living things. Living things need homes. What kind of living things need homes? Animals need homes. People need homes. Insects need homes too. Some animals find homes. This bear lives in a cave. Some animals build homes. This bird lives in a nest. Some people build homes too. This person lives on a boat. Why do living things need homes? Homes keep living things safe. Homes keep living things safe from the weather. Homes keep animals safe from other animals. Homes keep animals warm and dry. How do living things use homes? Some living things sleep in their homes. Foxes sleep in their homes. Some living things eat in their homes. Birds bring food to their nests. Some living things care for their young in their homes. People care for their young in their homes. What do people and animals do in their homes? They sleep, eat, and take care of their young. Remember, the purpose of our book was to learn something new. I know, I never thought about how some animals need homes to stay warm and dry. I learned something new. I sure hope you learned something new. And you know, today and every day, you can learn new things from your stories. Thank you so much for reading with me. I'll see you later. If you like this story, don't forget to like and subscribe.